वेलकम बैक एवरी वन टू अनदर ट्यूटोरियल ऑन पावर बी आई डो नॉट फोगेट टू क्लिक ऑन दी रेड सब्सक्राइब बटन एंड दी बेल आइकन सो दैट यू आर दी फर्स्ट वन टू नो वेन एवर आई अपलोड एनी न्यू वीडियो इन टूडे सेशन वी विल सी हाउ टू एड हाइपर लिंक टू अ टेक्सट कॉलम इन पावर बी आई लेट मी फर्स्ट शो यू द डेमो ऑफ वट वी विल बी डूइंग टूडे हेयर आई हैव क्रिएटेड अ टेक्स टेबल दैट शो सेल्स done in different states the requirement was that we need to add a hyperlink to this state column so that if a user wants to have some info on any of the state then we can click on this and we will be redirected to the wikipedia link when i am hovering over this texas state you will observe that we are getting this hyperlink that will take us to the wikipedia page so let me click on texas and now we are redirected to the wikipedia page that is giving us information about the texas state now without wasting any time let's jump to power bi and see how can we add hyperlink to a text column first let me import data into power bi for this tutorial i will be connecting to the sample superstore data set so let me click on import data from excel then i need to connect with sample superstore data now power bi is establishing connection with the sample superstore data set so this excel has only one tab which is sample superstore let's select this and click on transform data now a new power query editor window will open so this is the sample superstore data set and this data set has only five rows now let me go to the state column so there are three states in this column and the requirement is that we need to give user a functionality that he or she can click on the state column and they can get more info about the selected state from the wikipedia page as this is a clean data set and all the columns have correct data types let's click on close and apply now the data set is imported into power bi let me create a text table and select the state column first thing is that there should be a column that has the url where you want the user to be redirected to we want the user to be redirected to the wikipedia page for these states so first we will go to microsoft edge and here let's write down texas wiki page click on this first link from here copy everything before the name of the state go back to power bi here we will create a new column so here right click and click on new column now let's name it state url and within double quotes paste the wikipedia link and we will concatenate the name of the state to make this a dynamic url and here add the state column from the sample superstore data set click on commit now let me add this state url column also in this text table let me also drag sales as we need to show the sales done in different states now here you will observe that the url is populated based on the name of the state 
so for texas this is the wikipedia link if you want to make this state url column as a clickable column then just select this state url column make sure column tools is selected go to data category and here you can select web url now you will observe that this column has been updated to a clickable column let's click on any state url now we are redirected to the wikipedia page for texas state so this is the first method in which you can add a hyperlink to a text column now let's see the second method instead of this long url we can add a url icon here so for that go to format then at the bottom you will find this option url icon switch it on now you will see that instead of the long url we are getting this link icon let me click on this state url for nebraska and now we are redirected to the wikipedia page for nebraska state and the third method is to add hyperlink to this state column in that case we won't have to add this extra state url column in our text table for this go to format then you will find this option cell elements and then make sure to select the column to which you need to apply the hyperlink which in our case is state then you will find this option web url switch it on then here you will select the url column that we have created state url and no need to change any other option click on okay now you might have observed that this state column has been updated to a clickable column let me again click on texas and we are redirected to the wikipedia page for texas now we can remove this state url column as it is not required now one formatting that we can do to this state column is that we can change the color of the column to blue so that user can find out that this is a clickable column so go to format then here you will find the option specific column select the column to which you have applied the hyperlink then we need to change the text color to maybe let's select this blue color and also make sure that apply to values is switched on now a user can easily figure out that this is a clickable column it all depends on your requirement which method you need to select for your scenario so this was all that i had to cover in this session i hope this session was helpful do not forget to click on the thumbs up button if you like this video see you in the next tutorial